Hello students, welcome to our channel Learning Notebook. In today's video, we will do chapter Data Handling. So let's see what all topics we are going to cover in this chapter. First is what is data. After that, list and its example. Then pictograph and its example, bar graph and its example. And in the end, I will give you a worksheet for your practice. A collection of facts such as numbers, words, measurements or observations is known as data. Students, data can be represented using lists, pictograph or bar graph. So let's first see how data is represented using list. Let's take an example. Taisha's parents are shopping for Taisha's birthday. They need lot of things like balloons, cap, candle, ice cream, etc. So they prepare a list so that they do not miss out on buying anything. Students, similarly, we also regularly prepare such lists to buy our grocery items. So students, we can say data represented using names and numbers is known as list. For example, this is a list to show total number of students, number of students present and number of students absent on a day for classes 1 to 5. So now let's try to answer few questions based on this list. Question 1 is in which class all students were present? Students take a look at this list. There are no students absent in class 3. So it means all the students were present in class 3. Next question is, which class has the most students absent? As you can see, class 2 has 4 students absent, which is the highest number of students absent among all the classes. So answer is class 2. Question number 3 is, how many students were present in class 1 and 2? Here we have to find total number of students present for classes 1 and 2. So let's add students present in class 1 which is 26 and students present in class 2 which is 26. So 26 plus 26 equals to 52. Now, next question is, how many students are absent in all the classes? In this question, we have to find total number of students absent in all the classes. So, let's add students absent in class 1, class 2, class 3, class 4 and class 5. And we get answer as 10. Next, let's see how data is represented using pictograph. Data represented using pictures is known as pictograph. For example, students of a class were asked to name their favorite food item. So, on this basis, we have prepared this list. Now, we can use this information to make a pictograph. Students, first step is write a title for pictograph. So let's write the title which is favorite food of students of class. Now next step is decide a picture and what each picture stands for. Let's take a smiley as a picture and each picture of smiley stands for one student. Now 
let's represent number of students who like french fries on pictograph number of students who like french fries is 12 therefore draw 12 smileys which represent 12 students now in the same way let's represent number of students who like pizza on pictograph number of students who like pizza is 11 therefore draw 11 smileys representing 11 students similarly represent number of students who like burger samosa and dosa so students our pictograph is ready now students let's do an exercise based on a given pictograph we have to answer the following questions using this pictograph this pictograph is representing number of books a shopkeeper is selling in one week and each picture stands for 10 books students this is very important that you first look at what each picture stands for next you count and write them for each row like on monday there are seven pictures therefore number of books sold on monday is 7 into 10 which is equals to 70 similarly number of books sold on tuesday is 5 into 10 which is equals to 50 on wednesday it is 60 and so on now students let's answer the questions question 1 is on which day maximum number of books are sold students we can easily see that highest number of books sold is on saturday which is 90 Now next question is on which day least number of books are sold As you can see it is Thursday Question number 3 is how many more books were sold on Monday than Friday Students number of books sold on Monday is 70 and number of books sold on friday is 40 so to answer this question let's subtract 40 from 70 and we get the answer as 30 question number 4 is what is the total number of books sold during the week to find this answer let's add all the numbers which means add 70 50 60 30 40 and 90 we get the answer as 340 now let's move to next question how many books were sold on friday and saturday number of books sold on friday is 40 and number of books sold on saturday is 90 so let's add both of them 40 plus 90 equals to 130 now last question is what is the number of books sold on tuesday students as you can see number of books sold on tuesday is 50 so answer is 50 Now let's see how to represent the data through bar graph. Students, data represented using rectangular bars is known as bar graph. Let's take the same previous example and draw a bar graph using that information. Students to draw the bar graph first decide what each block stands for and then 
mark the blocks accordingly here each block stands for one student so let's mark the blocks as 1 2 3 4 and so on now let's write what these numbers represent they represent number of students now let's write the title for horizontal line which is favorite food so students now let's start making the bar graph first we have to represent number of students who like french fries which are 12 students so let's color 12 blocks and write the title french fries now let's represent number of students who like pizza there are 11 such students so let's color 11 blocks and write pizza next we have to represent 10 students who like burger so color 10 blocks and write burger in the same way make bars for samosa and dosa so students this is how we represent data using bar graphs now let's do an exercise based on a bar graph use this bar graph to answer the following questions first let's understand what this bar graph represents it represents number of students and different activities chosen by them different activities are dance music art yoga and karate now students let's answer the following questions question 1 is which one is the most popular activity to answer this question let's look at the tallest bar which is of dance so dance is the most popular activity question number 2 is how many students chose dance and art first let's see the bar for dance it is representing 80 students and bar for art is representing 60 students so let's add 80 and 60 we get the answer as 140 now next question is which activity is least chosen students as we can see the smallest bar is of yoga so yoga is the activity which is least chosen next question is how many students chose music activity so let's see the bar for music it is representing 70 students so answer is 70 so in this video we learned the meaning of data and how to represent and interpret data through list pictograph and bar graph with the help of examples students in the end i am giving you a worksheet for your practice you will find the answer to this worksheet in my next video thanks for watching if you enjoyed this video then do hit the like button don't forget to subscribe to our channel learning notebook and make sure to press the bell icon thank you bye bye see you in the next video